All right, we are back with another Beamer Utility Tutorial video. And this one's for you racers out there, for you guys that have aftermarket suspension or the tire pressure warning you guys think is so annoying. In the middle of the session, the tire pressure warning pops up. You gotta get rid of it, kills your times, whatever, it annoys you. Let's get rid of that stuff. So today we're gonna show you how to get rid of the tire pressure monitor warning and the DDC error if you went to a manual suspension system. So to start out, you're gonna connect your Beamer utility to the bike and connect the phone to the Beamer utility. And I'll show you guys how to do this whole thing in this video, you can click right there. Now, let me kind of preface a couple things here. The DDC mod you're gonna see, and people don't, some people don't even know what that is. That's the electronic suspension we're talking about here. And the electronic suspension is something that comes with the higher models of the S1000RR. The M1000RR, however, like ours here, the 23, does not have the system included on it. So there's no DDC error because they expect people that have that kind of bike to have a manual suspension set up or just kind of manually do everything for the track. Now, people that are more track focused on the S1000RR and remove this system, you get errors, this giant yellow error that'll just keep on popping up on the screen every single time you fire up the bike and you can't see anything unless you exit the error, which is annoying to do. So it's just kind of like a really annoying thing. Now, I will also say the people that lower their bikes like I have, for example, on this one, um, you'll have that link right there, the DDC link. Now, if you remove that link, you can also remove that error using this method and then you don't have to use the electronic suspension. The problem is when you turn off the electronic suspension like I'm gonna show you how to do here in the vehicle order, this suspension gets extremely stiff if you still have it on the bike. So you gotta make sure you have a manual setup. This isn't for guys trying to cheap out. If you don't have this link here, just go buy one. We sell them on our website for like 100 bucks. They're really not much money. Just go ahead and grab it and do it. Get rid of that headache because riding around with this thing with no electronic suspension is a headache. I tried it, it's not fun. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys here is the RDC system, which is uh, basically a tire pressure system on this bike. So we're gonna go into settings here. Get over there. There we are to settings. Let's go down and let's go into set, uh, vehicle settings here. And let's go into RDC. Now you can see mine is off. Now that pressure warning means it's not gonna come on my bike. Now I have a 23 and it really doesn't come on anymore. That's it, that's all you gotta do for the bike that I have. But some other bikes have different conditions where even if you do turn this off, it's still gonna give you a warning. So I'm gonna show you how to do it through coding now. The first step after you plug into the bike, turn it on of course, and connect it to your phone, which I showed you in the other video. We're gonna go ahead and go to Combi here. Let me get that off, get emails here. And we're gonna type here in the search bar, pressure. All right, pressure right there. And you can see what we got right there. Let's see if it you can see right there, it is the config RDC enable right there for the pressure warning. We're gonna click that. We're gonna go to Inuwort, zero, zero right there, done. And then you can go ahead and press code. Oh, I'm pressing code, there we go, now it's coding. And then I think your screen's gonna reset. Yep, there it goes. And that's that, you'll have no more pressure warnings for the tire. So that orange box that usually just pops up right off uh, start or the actual warning where you have that red that pops up where it says the, the, the tires aren't proper pressure, blah, 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 that will no longer pop up in the middle of your ride because I know it happens like five or six miles down the road, super annoying. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to do the DDC delete for you guys that have the track setups or deleted your uh, electronic suspension. Let me preface with saying this, we're gonna to have to edit the FA right now. If we edit the FA and I actually code this, it means I, I'm, I'm gonna delete everything I've done to this combi that's aftermarket, meaning that 16K RPM limiter, the M splash screen, that all goes away. So make sure if you do delete your suspension that you look at our other tutorials, you're gonna to have to re-enable that stuff again. I know it's a little bit annoying, but this is kind of the process that works. And uh, it's, it's really easy to enable this stuff back again if you look at our, our tutorial videos, so super easy stuff. I'm not gonna do it because <laughs> I don't feel like doing that today, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get there. So on the edit, when you click the edit FA, we have the menu here, we're gonna go 223. Now 223 is your DDC dynamic dampening control. Now all you have to do is unclick it, you're gonna hit save, which actually search, there we go. So now you unclick it, then you press save down here, right, so I saved it. And now what you'll have to do is go to combi and you'll have to go to code. Now remember, just like I said before, once you click that code, 
the screen's gonna reset and you're gonna miss all of the stuff that you have there that's already done. The 16K limiter, like I just said, the M screen, whatever else that's done to the combi that we did that was custom coding, it's all gonna be gone. You'll have to re-enable that stuff. But at the same time, you'll also have your DDC gone. And that also includes the tire pressure stuff we just did. That would also be gone if you had just done that before you did the DDC delete. So make sure you do the DDC delete before you do all the other coding stuff. And that's gonna be it for our videos today, guys. We really appreciate the support. We don't make any money off this. That's why it's taking us a little bit longer because we have a lot of projects like flashing new motorcycles, making new parts for these motorcycles. And this doesn't make us a penny. So it's one of these things we do on the side that we just wanna make our customers happy with. It's kind of just an incentive for being customers or just being nice to us and giving us support in general, especially with how many subscribers we have now on our channel. It's absolutely insane. So thank you all so much. Our next video is going to be the Speedo Unlock, I believe. And uh, we're actually calibrating the Speedo so we can actually show a proper number, not just over 200 miles an hour, which we can do. I've even shown 248 miles an hour on our M1000. Uh, but the calibration itself is for different tire sizes, a few other things. So we're actually calibrating this thing properly to read a real 200 miles an hour, not just some number on a combi. And that's gonna be it, guys. I appreciate the support and see you on the next one.